What's up everyone? Um, I am aware I'm a day late with this video. Um, but today is like the very first day premiere of uh, Captain Marvel for people who weren't able to go to actual premiere events like myself. Um, I still have my little halter thing on from yesterday. Um, so I thought, uh, what better way than to celebrate Marvel's first um, headlining female hero than to basically do a rundown of what A-Force would look like if we used all of the female heroes currently in uh, the MCU. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, I have gone through, like, all of my... I have uh, folders. I have seven of these. They're all pretty much the same size. Um, I've gone through all of those and sort of written down the names of the female heroes that I came across. Uh, I put the little asterisks next to the ones that I was like, yep, I know for a fact that they're in there. Um, but if I somehow somehow forget a, a female hero um, I do apologize I don't think I have though basically ran through every movie in my head um, to see if I have forgotten an established hero so far um, this is not putting in like you know oh Shuri should be the next Black Panther or anything like that this is simply just taking it from comics as it is, um, what would it look like? Um, so the first one that we would get is actually uh, the one that we've been waiting the longest for, which is Rescue, Pepper Potts' Rescue. Uh, she was sort of teased in Iron Man 3 back in 2013. Um, but we're apparently finally getting her in Endgame. Um, so she would be the first one. Uh, the next character on our roster would be the Red She-Hulk, Betty Ross. Um, none of the Hulk movies have ever sort of played into that, and the MCU seems to have forgotten that we actually have a Betty Ross. Um, but I think that it would be kind of cool to see a Red She-Hulk turn up. Um, particularly, I'm like, that's how they could do a Hulk movie without doing a Hulk movie. Um, because obviously they have to, like, um, share production of a solo Hulk film with Universal because of rights. Um, but if they introduced She-Hulk and did a She-Hulk movie, you could make, like, you could put the Hulk in that and have that be your Hulk movie, while not actually focusing on the Bruce Banner character. Um, and then have them fight, have them, have them fight Thunderbolt Ross, who manages to get his hands on Banner's blood from the 2008 movie, and turn himself into Red Hulk. That'd be cool. Since his name's Thunderbolt, you could then have that start off a Thunderbolt movies thing getting ahead of myself. Uh, the next character is quite obviously Black Widow, first appeared in Iron Man 2, um, so she would undoubtedly be the next to join. Um, in the comics, Jane Foster at one point becomes Thor. We almost got that version of her in a sense when she was like dressed in Asgardian robes in Dark World. Um, but let's be honest, we'd all 
prefer to see Lady Sif fill that role anyway. Um, Lady Sif is, of course, the next character on my list. Uh, Peggy Carter, um, the original super spy. Um, I don't know. I she's she's dead in the MCU, um, but she is still like super spy number one. Um, so you know, it'd be cool to see her sort of set up a I don't know female team back in the SSR or something as like a you know a flashback scene or something um Maria Hill would obviously be there uh I feel like she would be the one back at you know back on the hilly carrier yeah uh, being sort of like the, the the team's liaison between the government and the super team because of the accords. Um, Agent 13, who first appeared in um, Winter Soldier, would be on the team. Um, Gamora would be on the team. Scarlet Witch. Um, these guys sort of didn't have their own films uh, or, 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 or really that much of a surprise sort of thing. So, like, Agent 13 was sort of always like, oh, no, I'm just a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, by the way, like, I'm actually someone significant from the comics. Um, Gamora just sort of turned up and was like, I have to be here because I'm part of the core team for Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, and then, then if those two movies both followed her relationship with Thanos pretty closely um, and Scarlet Witch started out as a bad guy um, so yeah um, next was Hope Van Dyne showed up in Ant-Man became Wasp in Ant-Man and the Wasp um, but with her abilities and sort of taking on the role from her mother Janet Van Dyne we can they'll sort of slip her into an A-Force team. Uh, Mantis would be pretty cool to have on the team. Uh, Valkyrie. I'm pretty sure in the flashback scene where we see some other Valkyrie or warrior protect Valkyrie from being impaled by Hela. Pretty sure that blonde, um, uh, uh, that blonde Valkyrie or warrior is actually Brunhild and is therefore a reference to her comic book look which is the blonde hair um, but I like Tessa Thompson's Valkyrie so we'll, we'll, we'll definitely have to put her in there uh, and then obviously Carol Danvers would have to be on the team um, if we then delve into the MCU's TV side of things, we've got a whole host of other characters we can now pull from. We've got, um, we've got from Jessica Jones, we've got uh, Trish Walker, who becomes Hellcat in the comics, and Jessica Jones herself. Um, from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., just going to name the two most notable ones that I can think of. Um... So, Bobby Morse, Mockingbird, who in the comics is actually um, Hawkeye's, like, love interest in a, in a homage to uh, Green Arrow and um, Black Canary. Uh, and Quake would also have to be on the team, because Quake is, like, the main character of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., um, from the Inhumans show, we've got Crystal and Medusa. I know that show didn't do real well. I personally haven't seen it, so I'm not going to pass judgment on it just yet. Um, but just knowing that Crystal has the ability to... Crystal is basically the Avatar. She can manipulate like the four elements. And Medusa has... Um, like psychic control over her hair 
um, which is kind of cool, prehensile hair, pretty cool, unique power. Um, we've then got Dagger from Cloak and Dagger, um, being able to make swords out of light would kind of come in handy, um, whether you're in the dark or having to fight off bad guys. Um, Colleen Wing from Iron Fist, Electra from Daredevil, and Misty Knight from Luke Cage would all obviously also come into that. My dog has come in to say hello. No, leave. Leave, thank you. Um, and yeah, so they are the characters that I would sort of put into this and I also haven't obviously put in like, um, like in the MCU, the Ancient One is a female. In the comics, it's a male. So the Ancient One would fit in there. Um, and any female sorcerer, really. I think I think at one point we see uh, Tina Minoru, um, who is the mother of Nico Minoru from The Runaways, who would also obviously be part of this team because The Runaways is uh, MCU affiliated. Um, yeah. Um, I just... Honestly, I just think that with the host of really strong female characters that the MCU has, that it's kind of upsetting that an A-Force film hasn't already been made. Um, I think between um, Captain Marvel and Black Widow getting her own film very soon and how well Wonder Woman's been doing for DC... I think it's only a matter of time until we get this. Plus, with the Fox still coming in, very soon we'll be able to add, like, Jean Grey, Storm, um, Rogue, Shadowcat, uh, Invisible Woman to this roster and really not give them any choice but to make an all-female cast film. Because um, I, for one, would definitely pay to see that, particularly if the villain is also a female. I think that'd be really cool. Um, I do have characters here that I would like to see. Uh, I will quickly, quickly run through those. I know that Kate Bishop's coming... Um, or at least I, I'm pretty sure Kate Bishop's coming. I'm pretty sure that's who um, Catherine Langford's playing. I'm pretty sure we have a grown-up Cassie in Endgame because of time travel, which means that I think we have a Young Avengers movie coming um, with, with Stature and Kate Bishop being part of that. Um, so if that's the case, I'd love to see Firestar get put into that. She is another mutant. Um in the comics, but you could sort of give her a similar, similar explanation, I guess, to um, Scarlet Witch, and then once you have the rights to the X-Men, be like, oh yeah, no, they're, they're mutants. Um, Moondragon, I would 100% love to see Moondragon show up uh, in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Um, I still think that following Drax and Rocket, instead of following Star-Lord and Gamora yet again, would be the best course of action for that movie. Um, take us to Half-World, show us that Mentor, who is Thanos' father, has actually been living there the entire time, and that it's Thanos' sort of, like, base of operations. Like, he's killed half of the... half of the population, and then turned them into sort of, like his, like, turned the rest of that population into his, like, servants on that planet to, to sort of serve his needs, uh, and then turned one half of the planet 
into a full, like, city where he, like, uh, used the animals, like Rocket, as uh, genetic experiments with, with like, his high-tech enhancements, which is why Rocket was pulled, uh, pulled apart and pieced back together over and over and over um, until they got it right and started doing it to Nebula. Um, which would give them this weird, like, um, common experiences bond thing that I think would be really cool to help sort of complete Nebula's redemption arc. Um, and at the same time, it would mean that Drax actually gets to be reunited with his daughter, who is still alive, but is now a psychic and can transform into a dragon that can breathe in space because that'd be cool to see as like a big in a similar way to like how Ego was the villain in the second film but it's like no he's actually just an asshole. um in this case it'd be like she's been brainwashed by assholes and then sort of used as like a security measure um I don't know I just think it'd be really cool to see, um, Tigra would be really cool, but even cooler than that would be White Tiger. White Tiger would be fucking sick to see. Um, what else we got? Thundra is basically Wonder Woman, but Marvel, and instead of coming from, like, an island that's covered by this invisibility dome, basically, um, she comes from a another reality where women are superior to men and so like instead of having feminists they'd be like masculinists being all like fuck the matriarchy I don't know it'd be really cool that's all I'm saying um black cat and silver sable obviously obviously would be really cool to see um silk um but we're gonna get to see those three in the Sony universe of Marvel characters. Uh, Echo would be really cool to see. She's basically Taskmaster, which means that Taskmaster would be an interesting villain for her to fight, I think, um, because she has, like, photographic reflexes. So, like, she can watch someone else fight and actually be able to do the exact same thing or the exact same moves. Um, so it'd be really cool to see her learning from watching all these other superheroes fight uh, on the news and stuff and then go out and use those exact same skills to like for her own story and then she comes up against someone with the exact same ability which is Taskmaster I think that'd be really cool I'm gonna have to write some letters I really am um Shanna, the She-Devil, would be really cool. Um, so far, it's the only place we haven't seen in the MCU that I'd be excited to see. Um, that being the Savage Land. Um, you could have, like, Moon Boy and Devil Dinosaur be, like, little throwaway side characters while you're there. Um, but if you, have, if you don't know what the Savage Land is, it's basically... Um, the the land of the dinosaurs in Ice Age, how it's like under an ice cap, except that that ice cap is Antarctica. Um, but other than that, it's basically the same thing. Um, and then Abigail Brand would be really cool and like introduce Sword. So like, the World Security Council has gotten to a point where like, you know what? Nah, enough's enough. We need to like set up a planetary defense system for Earth. Um, and then therefore creates SWORD. Um, which would give us uh, Abigail Brand as well, which would be really cool. Um, if you're introducing the X-Men, um, particularly since we already have the Kree well established as just cosmic dickheads. Um, introducing the Shia and Lilandra would be really cool. Um, she does have a romantic relationship at one point with Charles Xavier. Um, so that'd be kind of cool. It'd also be cool if in that same 
sort of setting, you, we were able to be introduced to um, the Star Jammers and them just be like another one of the the um, Ravagers. So like you've got Yondu's crew and Stakar's crew and then in this other ship over here are the Star Jammers. I think that'd be a nice way to sort of tie them in without having to be like, and then there's space pirates. Um, because that, is that not what the Ravagers are? Um, but yeah, um, because Hepzibar would be really cool to see in live action. Um, but having Corsair show up and be like, oh yeah, no, that's my son, whilst pointing at Cyclops. You know... Just saying. Um, and then Phylavel would be really cool to see. But that's potentially Captain Marvel 2? 3? Potentially? Um, but, yeah. Anyway, that's all I've got for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's... It's 4pm. I'm going to go have breakfast. Because I've just been lying in bed all day. Uh, and then I'm going to go and watch... Um, Captain Marvel. And then I'm going to go to work. After I get this taken off. I can't wait. It's really itchy. Underneath. Uh, get this taken off. Go have a shower. Etc, etc. Um, yeah, anyway. Until next time, guys. I'll check you later. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked that, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload uh, a new video. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends as well. And if you want to see more content in between uploads, you can follow my Instagram at Ace of the Arts or my Tumblr at Stories Around a Campfire. And I will see you in the next video.